I love when it's hot. Turn to the city, I broke out the notch. Got some more millions, I keep me a knot. I created history, it made me a lot. He tried to diss me and any no fox. We call them chops cause they gonna chop. Took her out of violence cause of pop. I run it like Nike, we got it on lock. Call it out. What's up, Brownsburg High School? Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, August 23rd. I'm Deontay Ball. And I'm Ellie Branham, and here's what's going on at BHS. Key Club meets every Tuesday in the lunchroom at 7.15 a.m. Come grab a donut and hear how to impact your community by joining Key Club. Not sure what Key Club is about? Visit their Instagram at Brownsburg Key Club for more information or join their remind at BHS Key 1920. Do you want to get paid to play? Base a before and after school program in all the elementary schools and at East Middle School. They are looking for team members that have a genuine passion for youth development and team building. Hours are 3.15 to 6 p.m. with some morning hours for those with first period study hall. More information is available in your team office or at the website on the screen. Chess Club. There will not be a meeting after school today. Again, the Chess Club meeting plan for today has been canceled. Bulldogs for Life are having a meeting next Tuesday, August 27th at 7.15 in Mrs. Navio's room. Come to enjoy some donuts and have friendly discussion. All are welcome. Are you looking to make a new buddy this school year? The Best Buddies Call-Out meeting will take place Tuesday, August 27th after school until 3.30 p.m. in the Media Center. The call-out meeting is for anyone that is interested in joining Best Buddies this year. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Henley or Ms. Comer at A1402. Do you like to read and enjoy discussing what you've read with others? If so, then Lit Seminar is for you. Participants all read the same books, then meet during the school day in the Media Center to discuss the book. Applications are available in the Media Center and due to Ms. Lucas by Monday, August 26th. The Bulldog Aquatic Center is looking to hire certified lifeguards. If you are certified and interested in working at the school or during your study halls, please see Ms. Wagner in the PE Hallway Track and Field Office. With the first game of the football season coming up tonight, BHS TV's John Klemeyer caught up with members of the team to get a preview. The football team has proven themselves over the past couple seasons, and now they look even better. Let's see how the roster looks this season. Uh, we were very successful last year. We had a lot of uh, chemistry on the team, but I feel like this year we have more chemistry and uh, the team's closer and it's more of a brotherhood, so I know uh, every snap we're going to play for our brothers that's playing right next to us. How we finished the year was, was not where we, where we felt was indicative of that football team. A personal goal for this year is to um, just be better than I was last year. Um, I'll accomplish it by just working every day, you know what I'm saying, the same thing I've been doing, uh, coming in with a good attitude and just playing. So, so if I have a goal, it would be for all 103 of our sophomore, juniors, and seniors feel like they have an important role in our football team. I'm trying to get at least a pick a game. Like if if they gonna throw it to my side, I I don't want to like keep allowing that. Like I want to make them not throw it to my side again. Like I want to put fear in them, so I want to at least get a pick a game. Uh, the team goal is to win a state championship. We want to come out on top at the end. Like when the playoffs really matter, the regular season doesn't mean anything. Nobody's gonna remember like a county or a conference championship, but everybody's going to remember a state championship. Our team goal for this year is to finish, you know what I'm saying, play hard through all four quarters, and then go win a state championship. Most anticipated game has definitely been the Avon game, but this year, since our schedule changed, it's uh, this Ben Davis game. This year, I would believe that Ben Davis, the first game of the year, will be the most anticipated game of the year. There's just so much uh, hype and energy around the game, and uh, I think we should come out, everybody should come out to uh, show support for the dogs. Let's hope they can perform well against Ben Davis. John Klemeyer, BHS TV. Thanks, John. We're looking forward to a great season, hoping to improve on last year. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Nathan, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. The weather with Pineville cooperated and we're able to get some outdoor sports in this week. Last night, the girls' varsity soccer team traveled to Verbuff to take on the Class 2A third-ranked Braves. After coming in at the half tied at zero, the Braves took an early second half lead and later extended that lead to two goals. The Dogs battled back and Grace Crawford scored two goals, one in the final minute of the match and earned a 2-2 tie. Mallory Guy and Courtney Krylin each had assists on the night. The Ladies are back in action next Wednesday when they host highly ranked Hamilton Southeastern. The boys soccer team hosted Cathedral on Wednesday night in their first match of the season. The Dogs dominated the time of possession and had a majority of quality chances at the net, but were un unable to convert. In the second half, Cathedral pulled ahead 1-0 with 27 minutes to go but Colin Porath tied the game with just four minutes remaining to earn a 1-1 tie. The JV team earned a 3-1 victory over the Irish. The Dogs scored all three goals in the second half, coming from Jake Crawford, Sinai Johannes, and Nate Cook. 
The varsity team will head to Center Grove tomorrow, and the JV will be back in action next week. The Volley Dogs were back in action on Wednesday night, also taking on Cathedral. The Dogs took an early two-set lead and eventually defeated the Irish 3-1. Morgan Sion had 20 assists and 16 digs, while Quincy Thomas notched 16 kills and led the offense. Ella Hemmings added 27 digs for the Dogs. The ladies are now 2-0 on the season and head to the third-ranked Center Grove tomorrow morning. The JV team defeated the Irish 2-1 and also notched their second win of the season. Mary Brondike had 9 kills and Kate Murphy had 14 digs. Nice job, ladies. Students with all sports passes and student-athlete passes, please note that there will be a new system this year. You will no longer use your student ID to get into athletic events. Rather, you will be emailed a sports pass to use to enter events for a 1920 school year. Your parent or guardian will receive an email with your student pass if you're a fall athlete or you purchase a student all sports pass. You need to take a screenshot and save your favorites on your phone with this pass to enter all athletic events. Again, student IDs will no longer get you into sporting events. Good luck to football, cross country, girls golf, and boys tennis who are all in action this weekend. That's it for Force Today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Nathan. Now let's check in with Addie for a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hey guys, it should be a pretty nice weekend that's dry and not too hot. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 77 and a low of 54 and no chance of rain. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 76 and just a 10% chance of rain. And on Sunday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 79 and some rain overnight in the early Monday. Enjoy the weekend. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Addie. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday.